Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll show you how to install and configure PFSense, the powerful open source firewall on VMware Workstation. Whether you're setting up a lab for testing or building a full network security solution, this guide will walk you through every step. Let's dive in. This is my basic setup. One PFSense server connected to the internet and a single client machine connected to the PFSense. If you want to connect more machines, simply add them to the network. First things first, head over to the official PFSense website, which is pfsense.org, and download PFSense if you have not yet done so. Next, make sure you have VMware Workstation installed. I'll be using VMware Workstation Pro. Before we start installing, we need to configure two network adapters. Open the VMware Network Editor. You can use the default network adapters if you want, but I like adding extra ones. I'll configure two network interfaces for this setup. One will connect to the internet and serve as the WAN interface. The second will act as the LAN interface or gateway for the local network, and I'll set it to use a host-only adapter. A host-only adapter creates a private virtual network between the host machine, your physical computer, and the virtual machines. This setup allows the virtual machines to communicate with the host and with each other, as long as they are all connected to the same host-only network. Make sure to disable the DHCP on the interface because PFSense has its own DHCP server. There is a default host only adapter you can use that for the DMZ network, the default bridge adapter, we shall use it for the wide area network that is the internet. Let us now create a new virtual machine. Select Use ISO Image and Browse to the PFSense ISO you downloaded. Name your VM example, PFSense Firewall, and choose a storage location. Once you click on finish, the virtual machine will boot up, but shut it down so we configure the network adapters. You can also customize other hardware like memory, disk size, processor, and so on. This is the default bridged adapter, which will serve as the one wide area network interface. Leave it as is. Add a new network adapter and connect it to the host only interface. It will be the local area network interface. Everything is set. We can now boot up the PFSense. The installation wizard has started. Accept the defaults unless you have specific needs. Here we can select our wide area interface, check the MAC address for the one that is the bridged interface.
So it is the first one. Select the local area network. So the second one is the local area network that is the host only adapter. From here, you can install the CE that is the community edition, or you can purchase a subscription and click on validation to get the commercial version. I will install the community edition. The installation has started. This will take some time and depends on your internet speed. The installation has completed. You can reboot the VM. As you can see, the wide area network um, and local area network have picked up some. IP addresses. So let me add another virtual machine and connect it to the host only adapter so I can access the web interface for the PF Sense. Enter the 192.168.1.1 default IP address for the PFSense if you did not change it. Next, enter the username, admin, and password PFSense in small letters. And there you go, the setup wizard will launch. You can set the host name, domain, DNS, and choose your WAN and LAN settings. You'll also create a new admin password. Once the wizard finishes, PFSense is now up and running as your virtual firewall. And that's it. You've successfully installed and configured IFE PF Sense on VMware. Now you can explore advanced features like VPN, IDS, and traffic shaping. If this helped you, smash that like button, subscribe for more tutorials, and drop a comment if you have questions. See you in the next one.